everyone. Welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy Friday night. We've made it to the weekend, and hopefully that means you have made it on your way to Pickathon. Or maybe you're going to be on your way at like 7.30, maybe when our show is over. But if you're not going to get to Pickathon, or you're about to be on your way, or you're going tomorrow, we have a full show lined up for you to give you exactly a taste of exactly what you can expect if you're coming to Pickathon. So if you don't know, Pickathon, it's a four-day music festival. It kicked off last night. It goes all the way through Sunday here in Happy Valley at Pendarvis Farms. It is beautiful. I mean, you can't see the whole farm, obviously, from where we are, because there are six venues. There's music happening basically on all of the stages, all all of the time, all weekend long. There's comedy, there's food. We're gonna be playing some Pickathon themed games in a little bit, but since we can't exactly give you the perspective of what the entire farm looks like, I went on a tour before the whole festival even opened when they were still getting set up to give you a behind the scenes look and show you exactly what all is happening at Pickathon. Take a look. You have to experience each of these venues as kind of a different universe, a different musical ride, a different fantasy kind of experience. And it's really fun to throw the artists off too. So like having them come and like never have gotten to play in anything like this, they, they just, they can't believe it. So where are we right now? We are in the, the newest venue uh, that we're creating this year called the Galaxia Mysterioso. Ooh. It's a mixture of kind of Latin American traveling carnival, maybe a little bit of jungle thrown in there too. So now we're in the Galaxy Barn and it, it kind of does feel like we've entered an, another <laughs> galaxy or something. What's yes. going on in here? This is the beast uh, attraction and you need to be protected so we have bars so no one is, it's very safe. Sometimes the beast escapes. You gotta be very careful. We actually have had some breakouts. <laughs> Play the best music or I'll get you. <laughs> The Lucky Barn. This is the place where you, if you can get into, there's about 80 people can fit in here. Oh. People wait, and it's a half interview, half kind of performance. You so you learn, and it's like a really kind of close up, getting deep with the artist kind of experience. So this is one of the largest tension fabric structures in the world that's what? put up and taken down every year. It's called the Mount Hood Stage. It's their signature piece and they built it to kind of look like Mount Hood. And if you can see, oh. there actually is a great view of Mount Hood. Isn't that amazing? What? It's just incredible. This is where we kind of come to the Starlight Stage and you get a completely different feel. We're like in the mountains, at the farm, in a forest. <laughs> All, All at the same time. Yes. Okay, so now we have found Ben Thompson, AKA Mr. Ben. This is where the kids hang out at Pickathon? This is, this is the Wild Horse Tent, the Wild Horse Stage. This is where all the kids come because this is where the family friendly kids music is. Also where the shade is, which is a pretty <laughs> important commodity at Pickathon also. We like the shade. <laughs> mm -hmm. For all the things that Pickathon is known for, I think for those of us like myself with children, knowing that it's a place that we can come and enjoy all the music, but also knowing that our kids can have the time of their lives also uh, <laughs> is really one of the big selling points. So now we're entering the tree line stage. Whoa. Which is built by graduate students at Portland State. And their kind of idea is to have a design build class called diversion architecture, where you find a material that you can use for the stage, but it then turns into something else after the festival. Use but not use up. So this year, the students came up with the, the harvest bin. Uh, these particular bins are used for apples. We are borrowing them in between cherry season and apple season. So it's so next Friday after the festival. These bins need to be back in the orchard to do their work. The the way. Okay, now we've just like walked into the middle of the woods. Where are we? So this is the majority of the festival is actually in the woods and you can camp. There's about 2,500, 3,000 people camping. So now we find ourselves deep in the woods and what do you stumble across? You come across our second biggest venue, the wood stage. Everything here you see was harvested and brought down here from the Pendarvis farm and turned into fences and beer lines and a pizza parlor kind of place and the actual stage itself. Here's where we'll have some of our biggest performers. They'll all play here as like they play two times during the weekend and kind of magical because nobody ever gets to see music 
in a place like this. Okay, we've come to our final stop. This is the curation area. Yep. This is our space where we pair chefs and musicians and we create an experience for just 100 people. Hour and a half, three course meal, drinks, food. And these are extra tickets if you want to come to the curation meals? These are on our website, they're extra tickets. If you're a foodie in any way, these are some of the best chefs in the Northwest and incredible pairing with the actual artists. Just awesome, intimate experience.